Thanks. So when it comes to home security, experts told us that having security systems are a great way to keep burglars out of your home. But which one is best for your family? You know, there are so many choices when it comes to home security. Many of them you can do yourself. They are much cheaper than they used to be, and they are brand new. And a lot of them are technology-based. So we're talking cell phones, computers, the whole nine. We have Andrea Eldridge with us tonight to talk for, talk about all of this from Nerds on Call. And Andrea, there is a lot to discuss when it comes to there home security. There are so many options these days. I know. Um, and there's some good pros and cons to using the technology DIY system. Mm -hmm. So some of the great parts is it can be a lot less expensive right. because you can buy the equipment. You own the equipment. If something breaks, you you can just switch it out. It's great for renters because you can take it with you. You don't have to install anything permanently. And if you choose to monitor it yourself, you don't have to pay the monitoring fee. Yeah, so it can be a lot less expensive. It's a great idea. It's a good point. Now, there are some cons to this, too. Yes. So the problem is, is if you don't have a monitoring company that's actually monitoring your alarm system, then you're the one who has to call the police if there is something going on at your house. If you aren't home or you aren't mm -hmm. near your phone, then what happens if that alarm goes off and no right. one's there to, you know, call the police for you? There's also no silent alarm option. A silent alarm is really helpful if you are at your house and someone's broken in and they're actually forcing you to disable your alarm. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the systems that are monitored, you have the option to enter a four-digit code and it'll call the police out without actually setting the alarm off. So it looks like everything's right. fine, but it's not. So a panic alarm, alarm yes. if you will. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about what some of these are here um, as well. So iSmart Alarm, first of all, starting about $200. Yeah, this one's actually one of my favorites because it's super customizable. A lot of different options. You can start at $200 and get just kind of a base system, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of a la carte options too, so you can add on extra sensors. You can attach sensors to just about anything, which is kind of cool because yeah. if you want a cabinet, like your liquor cabinet, you want to make sure that doesn't get opened mm -hmm. when you're not home, you can install a sensor on the liquor cabinet and get that so that you right. know. And you mentioned the pool, too, also good for, for children, yes. putting something on a gate out there, too. Yeah, absolutely. They're um, coming out with a spot camera, which is kind of cool because it attaches to um, the system, and what it'll do is turn on if it recognizes motion or sound, and you can have a two-way audio, so if you pull up your audio and someone's in your house, you can actually tell them that you're calling the police, which right. is kind of a cool functionality. Yeah. It's important to, to know that there's other options, too. Simply Safe is another one that's out there on the market. Yeah, so let's say you want a DIY system, but you don't want to have to be in charge of monitoring it yourself. This offers an option to do the installation of the system yourself. A little more pricey on the beginning system. There are a la carte options again where you can build out that system to whatever you want it mm -hmm. to be for you. It's user installed. They do have that silent alarm option that the other one was missing. Okay, good to know. All right, how about this one? Uh, the Nest Cam. So really one, tiny. It is, I know, right? It's this little tiny little right. camera. You can put it just about anywhere. So this would be if you wanted to do video monitoring. You can integrate it with just about any of these other alarm systems. It also, the nice thing about Nest is they do a whole line of smart home products. So it integrates with your smart home stuff. So let's say it knows when you're coming and going, and so it can actually communicate with your Nest thermostat as well. So it's mm -hmm. it, this is a much more integrated option. But from a security standpoint, it's really great. Um, it You can check into your home with live video at any time. So if you yeah. just want to see what's going on at home, it knows when you're away, so it'll turn itself on automatically just Smart. by knowing that no one's home. So right. that's really cool. And it can send you an alert if someone does come home if you set the functionality to do that. Um, it has advanced learning, so it kind of remembers a picture of the room when you first set it up, and then it can sense like when something changes from just the normal, and it'll zone out things like your air conditioner hums, so it doesn't yeah. activate, you know, by things that are just regular noises in your house. So it's that's really cool. Amazing that they can do that. It's now. super smart. And this yeah. guy, you can actually add on a Nest Aware, which is a functionality that lets it get even smarter and learn more about you and facial recognition and all sorts of fun extra stuff. Gosh, all kinds of things out there. Uh, this is one we had mentioned before, the Ring Video Doorbell. A lot of people going to this yes. one as well. So now this one is kind of a standalone function. So you can add this to any alarm, even if you have a monitored alarm system. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about a video doorbell, which is what this one is, mm -hmm. so this doesn't actually attached to your lock system. It's a standalone device. You can see there's a little camera there that you can see from your smartphone. So if you get someone coming up to your door, what it intends to do is basically have a motion sensor that turns the video on and sends you an alert to your phone when it senses someone coming up to your door. If you're not home or maybe you are home but you don't want to come right. to the door, you can pull up your phone. You can talk to the person who's on the other end, say, hey, leave the package or I'll be there in two minutes and I'll let you in. Um, so there's a lot of good functionality with this one. Some users have complained about the fact that it really is tied to how strong your Wi-Fi is because okay. it communicates with your phone over Wi-Fi. So some people have said there's a delay between when someone comes up to the door and when that video actually gets sent to their phone. Right. So just kind of keep in mind that if you live in an area without a really strong Wi-Fi signal that this might not be the best viable option yeah. for your living. These offer some really great options. Great options. Thank you so much for going through them all with us. Andrea Eldridge from Nerds on Call with us tonight. Uh, all this information on our website, cbs13.com.